Welcome everyone, Dr. Naveen here from MET Campus. In this short video, let's discuss high yield points about disease cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is inherited in an autosomal recessive fashion and the gene which is involved is CFTR gene and this gene is located on long arm of chromosome 7. Now the most common mutation is delta F508 or F508 deletion is most common. If there is defective CFTR gene, this leads to impaired transport of chloride and water across the epithelial channels. Because of this, the mucus becomes thick and viscid. This will affect two important organs. One is lung, other is pancreas. So in the lungs, there would be lot of infections mainly caused by Pseudomonas aeruginosa. And in the pancreas, the notable thing is deficiency of fat soluble vitamins. If we talk about neonate, the classical presentation is meconium ileus. We can even screen neonates to identify this disease. And this screening test is immunoreactive trypsinogen level assay. So we will be checking for immunoreactive trypsinogen levels. If they are elevated, then we'll go for genetic analysis. Now next important thing in males is most of the males are infertile due to congenital bilateral absence of vas deferens. Coming back to the treatment part, Dornase alpha, which is a human recombinant deoxyribonuclease 1, it's an important mucolytic, helps in solving respiratory issues. Off late, the most latest thing is CFTR modulators. So these drugs are active in selective mutations and the names are Elacofter, Levocofter and Alexacofter. So this will conclude our short discussion on the topic cystic fibrosis. If you want more videos on high yield topics in medicine, do subscribe to my channel and also like this video and share it.